Hello everybody, Princess Barry here, and we're back at the Yacht Club for something special, or not. Ale and Compass. Yes, it's been a long time since we've come to this place. This used to be one of our favorite restaurants. Let's see if it's remained that way. Be sure to ahoy? Hopefully we won't get lost, but you heard the girl. We have a spicy pomegranate margarita. Oh, it's a little strong on the tequila. Not as spicy as I expected it to be. It's actually zero spicy. More tequila-y than anything. And I guess I shouldn't be mad at the fact that it's extra tequila-y. So I guess um, three out of four or three out of five agaves. It's good. It's just not spicy. So here we are back on this journey of me trying to find that one margarita that's going to make me gag, make me choke, make me pour this whole thing down my throat. But either way, it's better be spicy. No, that's not it. So maybe a 1.25 or 0.25 on a spice scale. I think the ice is more spicy than the drink. Hmm. With a nice flavor to it. Deep pomegranate, actually. Which is weird for a margarita because I would normally expect them to go a little bit heavier in the sour, but the flavor, I like that. It's drinkable. It feels like a couple of these could probably get you in a little bit of trouble. And I'm okay with that. You're hurting me in the non spice though. Three out of five points. Maple Old Fashioned. This is really sweet. This is almost like drinking liquid brown sugar. Mm, not how I would expect an old fashioned to taste. I'm gonna give it a three out of five whiskeys. It's middle of the road, I feel. Here we have their maple old fashioned. I feel like these are getting more popular on property. Uh, Tobolino's has one. Their, I believe, Vasilier has one as well. But the color of this one is like almost like a, a cooler and less of an old-fashioned. Smells like an old-fashioned. Okay, the bitters and everything in there. I barely taste the bourbon, but it's a lot of juice. A juicy juice. As an old-fashioned, it's a fail to me. Two out of five plus. <laughs> Buffalo cauliflower. Cauliflower that started it all with some vegan herb branch. I have a recipe of this on our YouTube channel. I'll put a link to that in the description box down below. This is one of the things that started it all. Mm. Oh goodness, it's still so good. I love it. You haven't cauliflowered until you've buffalo cauliflowered. That is a five out of five. Like if I had a bare necessities list, it would be on there. Mwah. Love me some buffalo cauliflower. This, this is probably the dish that got the princess hooked on Disney food. I can remember there was a time where we refused to eat in Disney parks. If we did, it was one plant-based sandwich from Hollywood Boulevard, Hollywood Studios. And then she tried this, which has led towards a gateway drug of trying every restaurant at Disney we get our fingers into. She has made this at home to the point where I'm almost sick of it. But I will never turn down the original Leon Compass. Get a little bit of that sauce, that extra buffalo, little charred edges. This is a delightful, fiery mouthful. Or at least it was. Hope it still is. Mm. Well, that is spice. You can probably some spice. My tongue is numb. That's how it should be when you tell me something is spicy. It's like a five out of ten little spice girl because it's buffalo sauce. People, it's supposed to hurt. Just a little bit. 
just about the nice crunch, the crisp, sort of charred edges. If you're plant based and you have not tried Buffalo Cauliflower, for some now. This is on Brandon Testy's list. Five out of five claws all day. Even if you just want to come here for a light lunch and not get a meal, come here and get this app. You'll be good to go. So here we have the infamous, or famous, depending on how you want to look at it, uh, park rolls. They have had these park rolls for a long time. It hasn't changed, but it's one of those, if it ain't broke, don't fix items. You have your salted butter, your bacon jam, which is always my favorite, and this pub cheese here. Now, the house recommended that I try the bacon jam with the pub cheese. We reviewed this so many times. I'm not going to go through everything, but I definitely want to try this uh, cast member recommended hat here. A little bit of that chive in there, too. Got cheese. Yeah, overboard. Got to savor it. Make, make, a little, make a little sandwich out of it. Get our door. Like a cheesy bacon sandwich. With a shorter weight than White Castle. Four and a half out of five minutes. Welcome to our old friend, the quinoa bowl. It's not the sandwich, but it's still delicious. They have this beautiful sauce on this um, Beyond Sausage with some quinoa. And we have some. Um, Sweet potato and broccolini. It's like a nice light Buddha bowl. I really love the sausage. It's charred perfectly. The sauce is good. I'm a sucker for quinoa. The veggies are cooked perfectly. I really can't complain about this dish at all. It's a nice little protein bowl. If you don't want all meats, you can just not get the sausage and you still have a beautiful bowl. So, four out of five quinoas. I like this protein bowl. I don't know how I feel about the fact that this bowl hasn't changed. At one side, it's like they're very committed to this bowl. On the other side, they've had this for like two years almost two and a half years now, going on three, and like, the same thing as before, individually it looks great, you got these beautifully cut pieces of broccolini, all this, and then you have the sausage with the sauce, but I just feel like it's not really tied together, it just feels like four separate things you dump into a bowl with the tiniest bit of sauce sort of tied together, and it's never really worked well for me. I do like the fact that you got some options, but as a whole, like one big whole bite, this is just not it for me. Hopefully something to change. The sausage looks a little bit different. But all in? The sausage feels like it's got a little bit more spice. I think they finally perfected the way to cook it. So it's evenly cooked all the way through, not overly cooked, not undercooked. The quinoa has got a nice flavor to it, nice texture. Broccolini is good. The root vegetable is good. It's just, it still feels to me like it's missing something. I'm not quite sure what they can do to correct that. It's a three out of five plus for me. Apparently, in the times we last come here, uh, this is their number one selling dish now. A pot pie. Now, I was expecting a bigger size portion, not like a really mammoth size version. This is like a massive pastry top with a humongous bowl of pot pie. Now, it's very light. It's not really like a, a, a pot pie per se. It's like a gigantic pastry on top. And then you have the delicious looking, like, filling beneath the cheesy the pearl onions chives you got some shrimp in there it's definitely chock full of the seafood like this is like 
It's like a fancy hat on top of a dish. We'll go ahead and uh, I'm gonna set this aside here. Put, 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 put this right here. And we'll cut us a tiny bit of bread from the side here. And it's super flaky. The knife is completely unnecessary. Go ahead and give that a little dip in there. Get some of the shrimp, get some of the fixins. Again, this thing, useless. I don't even know I picked it up. She had a nice hearty feeling. I like the color. It was definitely keeping the heat in. It's almost like a seafood chowder with a pot pie top. Um, very well, the flavor's nice and tied in. Got a little bit of spice. Shrimp is perfectly cooked. The herb onions are a bit much for me because I don't really like onions like that. But I like the flavor. It's a strong, strong dish. And definitely something unique that you probably couldn't get anywhere else on property. They're definitely owning their New England vibes. Four to five minutes. Out of my time because why not? Oh, oh, good lord, that is strong. I'm gonna give that a four out of five. My ties, I said, extra strong, like something you would get at the poly. Strong, it's good, strong, strong, strong. Very deceptive looking glass. It could almost be a child's lemonade. It smells innocent enough. It smells like right before you would open a door in a horror movie. That's what it reminds me of. That's how strong I wish my, uh, my Manhattan had been. This thing will clean your driveway. Three out of five claws. This big apple looking mighty fine. Oh. Yeah, that tastes like alcohol. It's like straight alcohol. It's very delicious. It's like on the sweet side a little bit. I like this. I will give this uh, four out of five apples. It's pretty good. Tinny glasses are always a weird thing. Is it gonna be sweet? Is it gonna be powerful? Here's the hoping this doesn't make me the saddest bear with a martini. If you get that reference, by all means, let me know in the comments. You know, it's actually quite enjoyable. It's definitely a sipper. I'll be guzzler, of course, being in a martini glass. But it, it rolls back in the mouth. I don't mind it. It gets stronger as it goes back, but I think it represents the Big Apple rather nice. Four out of five plus. Pot pie was a piece of pie. So, Ale and Compass definitely point us in the right direction. Love Ale and Compass. Yes. It's delicious. It's always delicious. It's always spot on service is good the uh, drinks feel like it fell good. off a little bit my drinks were strong so my drink i'm was good not so great my my main was full yeah your bourbon drink was i'm full great. but uh i still wish they had something other to offer than that bowl the princess loves it so i guess it works but I at the same the time old sandwich if you want to see the old sandwich check out the description box down below but we want to know when's the last time you guys came to ellen compass have you even heard of it if so, let us know in the comments. If there's anywhere else around Epcot or the Epcot Resort you'd like to see us go, that'll be the place to find us. Hit that notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We'll see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl. And like this video for the Yacht Club.